let me just say, I love seaweeds, not only for their diversity of forms and textures, but also for the role they play as a foundation species in our marine ecosystem. Life as we know it on planet Earth wouldn't be the same without them. I have many, many favorite species, but today I wanted to share with you one of my most favorites. Codium forgile is also commonly called sea staghorn, dead man's fingers, felty fingers, green spongy cushion, and sponge weed. This species is found on our outer coastal areas, so you won't see it if you're tide pooling in Seattle. This seaweed is spectacular. It's spongy and dark and mysterious. In shadow, it almost looks black, and in the sunlight, it sparkles. Unlike seaweeds with large flat blades that act like solar panels collecting light for photosynthesis, Codium fragile funnels light down tubes from the surface to the interior of the seaweed, where large groupings of chloroplasts lie in wait. These tubes collect light and reflect it back, as seen here, like a dusting of glitter all over the surface of the seaweed, like magical holiday lights. For years, I have been combing over the spongy branches of Codium, hoping for a glimpse at one of the tiny creatures that makes this seaweed its home, the branched sapsucker, Placida dendritica. This was my year. At first, I spotted a gooey mass that upon closer inspection appeared to be eggs. Egg masses are often the first clue I look for when trying to locate tiny animals on the beach. So I sat myself down and started looking closer. I saw another tiny but different looking gooey blob. Could it be? It started moving. It was, it was. I was beside myself. There were four or five of these tiny gorgeous beings doing their thing, living their lives on the Codium. Check out the little eye spots. So cute. Maximum size for these beauties is eight millimeters, just a little larger than a quarter inch. To give you an idea, these friends were about the size of a grain of rice. I could not really see their detail without the help of my macro lens. They dine on the branches of this seaweed using their radula, a tongue-like organ covered in tiny teeth, like a little chainsaw, and they slice into the codium and suck out chloroplasts from its branches. You can see the branching structures in the sapsucker's body that are part of its digestive tract. They store those chloroplasts here, where they remain active for up to 24 hours, providing the solar-powered slug with nutrition. In the early summer months, apparently, Codium can be heavily covered with new sapsuckers at a rate of 200 to 400 per month. It takes one month for them to grow and reach their sexual maturity. So, if you visit the Washington coast, look for this incredible seaweed and its tiny, beautiful inhabitants. And don't forget to bring your hand lens and explore gently.